Hello, all you coin aficionados out there, and welcome again to the DC Coin World International Coin Channel. Today we have two coins for you from Sweden. The 10 ore from 1944 and the 10 ore from 1964. When we were setting up to do our Sweden coin videos, uh, we uh, got some news this week, and that was that the crown jewels, uh, and these are representations of the crown jewels, had been stolen uh, by thieves, and Sweden is currently looking for the thieves that stole their crown jewels. These are artist representations of two of the crowns from Sweden's crown jewels. The uh, coin on the left is a 1944 coin. It is a silver coin, and you can kind of tell by the difference in the sheen. Uh, the 1964 coin is a copper nickel coin. They are both about the same exact size, 15 millimeters in diameter. Uh, they are uh, both approximately 1.1 millimeters thick, uh, and they both weigh, uh, the one, the silver one weighs 1.44 grams, and the uh, copper nickel one from 1964 weighs 1.4 even grams. The um, back of the silver one, it's, there's a crown, then it says Sverige, or Sweden, and then at the bottom there is a mint mark. Um, on the 1964 coin, we see the crown, we see a 19 separated by the initials of the king, 64. So this is King Gustav VI Adolf. So you see the big G for Gustav, you see the 6 there, VI in Roman numerals, and then you see the A for Adolf. So this, the, when they switched here, they went from, this is a King Gustav V coin here on the left, but he does not have his initials uh, or his insignia on the coin. King Gustav VI put his insignia on the coin, again, with a slightly different crown. You see that the inner edge of the 1944 coin is smooth with a little bit of a lip. The inner edge of the 1964 coin is a toothed edge. Both of these coins have a smooth rim. Both of them have uh, face up on both sides. And uh, the 19, again, when we look at these ones, we see the 1944 here. This is the silver coin from 1944, 10 or 1944. And right down here, I'm not sure if you can see that, but there is a letter down there, which is actually a G. And that's about the max we're going to get, but if you look at it very carefully, you can kind of trace the G down here. That is the initial of the head Swiss banker's last name. So essentially, it is the Riksbank governor's surname. And we see that same thing on this side, the U, is the initial of the Reichsbank or Reichsbank governor's surname. And over here is a mint mark. You see that um, they both say 10 or Sweden on the back and they, have, they both have the initial, but on the 1944 coin, the mint mark is actually on the back here, as we can see. So here's the mint mark on the 44, here's the mint mark on the 64. Turn them back over. The uh, a lot of people um, want to know the value of the coins and the 1964 coin. Um, it's copper nickel. It's got really no metal value. Um, it may be worth 20 to 25 cents plus shipping. That's this one. Uh, the silver coin, on the other hand, is it has some inherent value because it, you could actually melt it down. It's not a lot of silver though. It's about 29 cents in silver. However, it does sell for between uh, $3 and $20 in circulated condition, depending on uh, the condition. You see this one, the mint mark's kind of worn, so this might be a $3 to $5 
version, why would a coin with only 29 cents in melt value sell for three to five dollars? Simply because people have melted them down. And so we're losing a lot of our silver coins in the world uh, because they've been melted down. Uh, the 1944 coin, there were 12.276 million of them made. The 1964 coin, there were 30, almost 37 million of them made. Again, um, copper, nickel, and silver. And if this coin, uh, I, we've been really kind of pushing people to um, collect as many silver coins as they can and keep them because people are taking them and melting them down. And this is just a small silver coin. Uh, be great to have because it doesn't cost much. For three bucks, you could have a silver coin from 1944, maybe th three bucks plus uh, shipping. Again, these are the crowns from the crown jewels. Uh, they are still missing. Uh, if you have any information, contact Swedish authorities, as they say. And hopefully you will have a good day and come again to the DC Coin World International Coin Channel. If you have any comments, put them in the comments section. And if you have uh, interest in foreign coins, make sure to subscribe to our channel, the DC Coin World International Coin Channel. Thank you.